Anyway, in a moment, you'll meet this gentleman. I want to mention that tomorrow night on NBC at 9.30, this is hard to believe, that David Letterman is celebrating six years already Ooh. on the air, and he's going to do his special one. Yeah. Sixth anniversary. David's doing his sixth anniversary show tomorrow. I think they did it, taped it at Radio City Music yes. Hall. It's on at 9.30 p.m. I guess that would be Eastern and West Coast, and in the Midwest, I guess... 8.30. Like that. What, what time would it be in the Midwest? 8.30. 8.30? Okay. So, congratulations, David. Remember when we had our sixth anniversary? We were 12. <laughs> <laughs> 19 uh, years ago. <laughs> yes. My, my first guest tonight holds the record, uh, as far as we know, nobody's challenged it yet, of being the oldest active farmer in the state of Illinois. I would think he would be the oldest active farmer almost anywhere. And we thought you'd like to meet him. He's from the town of Toulon. Would you welcome, please, Merritt Heaton. Mr. Heaton, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. You look remarkable. Are you really 97? That's what to tell. That's what I go by. <laughs> well, you look great. Must be, must, be the, uh, must be the climate in Illinois. Well, it could be. Did I pronounce the town right? Is it Toulon? Toulon. Toulon, yes. Illinois. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the only city in the United States with that name. Well, I didn't know that either. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, somebody told me when we first invited you to the show, you, you, you didn't want to come on. No. Really? No. Why not? Well, I'm scared to death. Well, you shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> you, you shouldn't be scared. You've been through 10 or 12 world wars. I mean, this is... <laughs> Well, I'm kind of getting composed. Well, just, just relax here. Just yeah. pretend you're back sitting, uh, sitting on the front porch and we're talking. And, oh, and right, nobody's right. watching. Yes. Okay. thank you. What, what made you change your mind to come on the show? Well, I tell you, a lot of my friends know Johnny Carson. Uh-huh. They said if I had a chance to get on Johnny Carson's show, I'd be on. So? So... I reconsidered. Maybe they had good judgment. Well, good. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do, you, uh, do, you, do you catch our show very often? Oh, occasionally, say. No, but you can be honest. Uh, yeah. I mean... Well, I'm honest with you. Yeah? I, I'm a, I go to bed early. Yeah. How, <laughs> you see, you how, how many times would you think you'd seen the show? The show? Yeah. Oh, down through the years, that'd be hard to say. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd better press this. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, now somebody mentions you, uh, your your local coffee shop. Back yeah. There. Is that... Oh, well, there's where the farmers congregate. Congregate. Every farmer has a pickup, you know. Goes to town for breakfast. Sure. Yeah. Yes. What so, goes on at the local coffee oh, shop? Oh, I tell you, everything. I mean, politically. Uh huh. <laughs> politically, you bet. You can hear all sides of it. Yeah. What, what, what's, the, what's the tenor of things out there? Huh? What do they think about this? Oh, uh... I'll tell you, a little bit draggy. A little bit draggy yeah, so far? Yeah, pretty, pretty draggy. You know, agriculture kind of in the dumps. Yeah, sure is, isn't it? Yes, sir. I never lived on a farm myself. I grew up in Nebraska, but my uncle had a farm, and so I, I know a little bit about farm life. Well, that's great. And things yeah. are kind of tough right now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, well, I've been out of 197 years. 197 yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> feels... Do you still actively work on the farm? Yes, I honestly do. My God. Yeah, I... I'm not far out from the last harvest we had, about yeah. 90 days. Uh-huh. Yes. What kind of a typical day would you have? What time well, would you get up in the morning? Oh, you don't have to rush. Yeah. You got to rush. <laughs> <laughs> no hurry, huh? Well, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you get up maybe 5.30, 6 o'clock? Oh, yeah, about 5. Yeah. About 5. You, you, you prepare your machinery, mm -hmm. get ready to go to the field, and you do your work out there. And you still go out and... Yeah, I, I run the tractor hauling in the grain, uh -huh. unloading the grain. My goodness. Yes. Are you still the boss of the farm? Oh, I, I let my son do the boss, and uh -huh. I do what he says. Really? Yeah. Uh, how old's your son? Oh, he's 78. Seven Your son is 78, yeah. huh? And you, somebody said you've got three other children, too? Yes. H how old are they? Well, one, one fellow is about 75. Yeah, 78, yeah. 75. Yeah. Well, the next one is 70. Yeah. Go down to 65. Yeah. Yeah. Do they work on the farm? No. Oh, what is it with kids these days? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you tell me. You tell me. What? Why, why did the, uh, the younger ones decide uh, not to work on the farm? Well, well, I'll tell you, a lot of excitement in the city. Uh -huh. Back 50 years, yeah. 60, mm -hmm. there wasn't any problem then. Yeah, everybody stayed pretty much on the, on the family farm, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. But now it's different. Yeah. You've got to go to the city. There's not room on the farm. Yeah. But, you're, but your oldest son still yes. stayed on. Well, that's good. Yes, sir. Is he going to hope to pass it well, on? Well, it's a family life? farm. Yeah, that's great. That's what we operate, a family farm. Yeah. What, what's been the biggest change uh, since you were a, a young man on the farm? Oh, well, I'd say electricity. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe you were going to say the wheel, but... Uh, well, that was before my time. Yeah, I, I, no, no, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, people forget electricity. I mean, uh, I remember going to my grandparents' home where they didn't, they had the kerosene lamps exactly. sitting around all the yeah. time. Maybe had a few candles around. Absolutely. Yes. So you used to go out there with a, a team of horses. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you, you still use horses at all on the, on the well, farm? Well, pleasure horses, riders, pleasure horses. Uh-huh. I don't have any pleasure horses, but yeah. my neighbors do. So They're up and down the line. Yeah. Yeah, horses. So, so electricity was the big... Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, power. Power is what... It, Provided it. Yeah. You had pump water for your livestock. Right. You had a, maybe an electric kitchen. Yeah. In the home and lights. Yeah. So that is great. Yeah. But outside lights then? Yeah, nothing to it, huh? No. Yeah. You seem in such great health. Do you think it has to do with being raised and, and working all of your life uh, from a young man? Well, I think they just put me together right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, you ever uh, have a little drink or something? To... Very seldom. Yeah. Very seldom. But just maybe occasionally. Well, it has to be pretty occasionally. Yeah, well, like a holiday or something. Well, like that. oh yeah, you have to be social. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, social. Now you were you were married, I understand, for for many years. Yes, sir. Sixty. Sixty-four years. Sixty-four years. Mm -hmm. And you're. Uh, that's mine. Your wife passed away some years ago. Is that, yes. Is that true? Yes. Now, somebody said, now, I, I don't want to get personal, so if this is a too personal a question, would you... Oh, you, yeah? You, you just stop me, yeah. Go ahead. Somebody, uh... <laughs> somebody said you have a, a lady friend that you occasionally visit here in, in, in California. Oh, gosh, I visit her more than occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, since they got electric power, I suppose everything. Is uh, so, uh, she, you, how'd you meet her? Well, I tell you, you know about the senior citizens uh, set up. Sure do. Well, I, I go out to lunch. I go out to lunch, and here she happens to appear. Mm -hmm. Boy, was she a doll. Really? Yeah. 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 She a, a younger well, she woman. She got a knack. She got a knack about her that. She kind of entertains people and sees if they know where they are. And, yeah. She, and, do you go out dancing or something? Oh, well, no. Uh, I don't dance much. Yeah. But uh, get other things going. <laughs> 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 so, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to have to, we're gonna take a, we'll take a little break here. And we're going to do a commercial. Oh, yes? And then we'll come back and we'll talk some more, okay? Well, all right. Y you're a nice gentleman. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. If you just join us, if you just join us, we are talking to uh, Mr. Merritt Heaton from Toulon, Illinois. Toulon, Illinois. Ninety-seven years old. Now, you mentioned you were married for sixty-four years. Now, yes, sir. I have not had the best track record <laughs> at marriage. You might be the man to ask. What is the secret of staying married for sixty-four years? Really? Yeah. I haven't been that fortunate. Well, oh. Well, what, is it, what does it take to get along with somebody for 64 years? Well, I guess you've got to give and take a little. Oh, I've, I've given. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got an article of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't have that deal to go through. Yeah. So we give and take a little. Yeah. Consider that uh, your other ideas are different from yours, so 
give and take a little and... A lot of compromise, Bury, right? bury the hatchet. Yeah. And get along. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Somebody once said, never go to bed mad. Well, you got a better... You better settle it before you go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good Your advice. argument. Yeah. Yes. Now, this, uh... This uh, lady that you're seeing out here in California. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> she is a... Uh, she's a, a go-getter. She's a go-getter. <laughs> is she a, a younger lady? Well, of course, she's probably a younger lady. Oh, you not, bet. Not, not many 97-year-old ladies available. She can keep up with me. She now, can. A lot of these ladies I, I, my age, they can't keep up with me. Yeah. I, you yeah. know, so I kind of got to lay down a little. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh... Slow, to, slow down. Do you go out sightseeing when you're out yes, here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you drive? I drive when I'm home. But this little lady now, she's got a car. Oh, she does. And she accommodates me. Hey. Boy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, you've seen a lot of changes, especially in women. I mean, women are treated completely differently today than they were when you were growing up. Oh, I mean, land, yes. Equal rights uh, and that mm -hmm. and all that. Yes. <laughs> well, what's been the biggest change, do you think? The independence of women? Or? No, gosh almighty. When I was a kid, I was tickled to see a girl's ankle. That was pretty rare. Really? Yeah. We'd stand around town there. Maybe a muddy day, ladies have to come along, raise up the skirt a little. We'd see their ankle. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would that do when you'd see Oh, that? do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it... You'd prepare you for the next deal. <laughs> Prepare you for the next deal. Yeah. So a woman's ankle was exciting. You bet it was. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, what do you think now? What do you think? What, have you been to the beach lately and seen what the girls wear on the beach? Do they wear? But they hardly... <laughs> You're right. They, they hardly wear anything. No, it's... Uh... Have you seen the bikinis nowadays? Well, I haven't seen the last one, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well... Uh, They're just little teeny well, things. Well, uh, there's quite a bit to be imagined. Yeah. Uh, you think it's more fun to, to imagine something than uh, to see it all? Yeah. That's, that takes to... Glamour away. Yeah. You bet. But a, a little more than an ankle is also good. Oh, boy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, how is this friendship developed? Now, somebody said, and I, as I said again, Mr. Heaton, I don't want to get personal, but that you also see somebody back in Illinois? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a mutual agreement. Oh, I see. Yes. So uh, when you go out of town, uh, you see this lady. Yeah. And when you're back in Illinois? The other one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, do they know about each other? They do now. Well, <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm going to get into when they yeah. go back home. <laughs> well, so, uh, so you still work the farm every day? I think that's fascinating. Yes, I, that's, a, that's a good pastime. Yeah, it sure you, is. It keeps you healthy. Yeah. And Who was the first president you ever voted for? Oh, was it McKinley? <laughs> it, I don't know. No, it wasn't McKin I don't know. But that, that, politics wasn't too hot them days. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I remember we had rural, fair, rural free delivery. That's right. In the country. Right. They brought your mail. Well, that was something new. I was out in the yard with my dad, and the mailman come along. Had no telephones or nothing. He hollered at my dad, and he says, "McKinley has been shot." told him, my dad. That was news. That goes a lot yeah. many, yes, many years ago. Yes, and yeah. I remember that as a kid there with my dad. Yeah. But it was in the newspaper. Yeah. So, uh, rural so, free delivery. Yeah. Now, are you going to stay out in California for a while, or do you have to go back to... Uh, oh, oh, is this a serious relationship with this lady from California? Well, it's hard to say. Is it? Yet. Uh, yeah. Is it developing? Uh, yeah, coming along pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would marriage ever enter the picture? Well... I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities there. Well, I think that's marvelous. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, you're a very, very nice man, and it's a pleasure to meet you. And well... I, I thank you for changing your mind and coming on the show. Did you, did well, you enjoy it? Oh, gee, yes. yes I, I want to thank you, gentlemen, and all of these people. Thank you greatly. Well, we thank you, and we hope you have a safe trip back home and many more years of a happy life. Thank you. That's my kind of guy. Huh? That's, that's an inspiration. He's a nice man, 97, man. and sharp as oh, you yeah. can be. Uh, <laughs> his lady friend, 75, he says, she's only 75. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like he's dating a young chick. She's only 75. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Ray Stevens after this. Oh. Would you come in? We thought like you might like to meet the young lady. Well, well, how are you? I can tell you. Huh? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. So. <laughs> He didn't tell me this was going So happen. I know he didn't tell you. So you're the young lady in his life. Right. What's your name? Peggy Taylor. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Do you know, I went, the very first date I had in high school was a girl by the name of Peggy Taylor, my hand, oh. when I was wonderful, in grade school. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How long have you known each other? Oh, about three months. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, how often do you see each other? About every day. About every day. Yeah. We have lunch together every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, have you been back to Illinois? Uh, oh, I, my uh, former husband's parents lived there and I uh -huh. visit there every year for about 20 years. Yeah. But not in the northern part. He lives in the northern part of the state. Well, I want to tell you, I've never met anybody at, at, at his age. Isn't is, he wonderful? Is he difficult to keep up with? <laughs> well, I have to hurry. She's but... hard to keep up with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's a goer. Well, you look like you compliment each other very much. Well, he's a very nice person. It's nice to a see gentleman. both of you. It's nice of you to see both to have this relationship, but uh, you're at your age in life. Thank you. I think so, too. Thanks for being here. Yes. Yeah. Nice to see okay, you. Okay, and thank you much. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow night with Sammy Davis Jr. Thanks for being with us. Just get right here.